Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, welcome to the LDM show So alhamdulillah today we've got brother Sabool with us Assalamu alaikum bro, how are you? Good, mashallah, alhamdulillah bro So we're going to get straight into it inshallah So in today's show, we're going to be discussing the rationalizer The rationalizer, right? yes. yeah So who is he bro, let's take it away Okay, inshallah. to begin off with, the rationalizer is someone who's a bit of a troll A troll is, you know, those people who go What's on YouTube What's a troll? They go on YouTube, they spam, they, you know, they try and cut and paste and just keep sending you stuff and so this sort of thing. And we thought it's, it's an interesting thing the, that him being an atheist and the way he wants to continuously just attack Islam on so many other sort of videos, we thought we'd make him a bit is, of a Is response. this the guy that was dancing around in one of those videos you showed me? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, okay, brother and sister, before we move on, I, I really want to show you this and how pathetic this actually is. So we're going to roll the clip now, inshallah, and we'll carry on, inshallah, when we get back, yeah? Fella. We've got a 2718. So, bro, everyone's just seen that, right? <sighs> what do you have to say about that? Okay, now this shows you to how low some people stoop to when they want to actually try and, when they don't have any valid points, they just want to try and use mockery and this sort of thing. So, I mean, you don't need that long to actually refute him. He's basically saying it. He finds it completely illogical that ants are actually talking. That's what he's addressing in that, that particular yeah, video. That's what he's actually yeah. basically saying, that there's ants. Um, how can you hear an ant talking and this type of thing, right? And like it mentions in the Quran. And the simple answer to that is, just because we don't have evidence that ants are talking, doesn't mean that ants don't talk. Yeah. And now, in in the last you know couple of years, you can say, there is evidence, clear evidence, to show ants do actually communicate. Yeah. And in the, in the description... A link of this video. We're yes. actually going to put the link to where you can go find the um, the video and the, the, si article the science uh, article, which explains it and even has some sounds that you can play of ants mm -hmm. actually communicating. But the, the thing is, one thing we need to stress is that this is supportive evidence, right? I mean, we we know the ants talk because the Quran says it talks, and that's because the Quran we could prove deductively. Yeah, of course, of course, that's a Allah. separate thing. But the the thing with the rationalizer, which I really want to do. Uh, speak about today was not only does he make these sort of uh, videos and tries to get people away from Islam and mm. works really, really hard at it is even though he's trying so hard he isn't going to succeed yeah. and what I really wanted to speak about and this is a verse of the Quran I was actually reading earlier on today in which Allah says the disbelievers spend their wealth to hinder from the path of Allah and so they will continue to spend but in the end they will have regrets mm. at, and then they'll be overcome and then they'll be driven uh, you know taken to hell so the the stages allah puts it as this they spend their wealth to stop from the path of allah and they'll continue to spend mm. and then they'll have this intense regret and after this intense regret they will be overcome as in in this case their ideas their philosophies their videos their blogs all this yeah. will be refuted and then they will be driven to hell because yeah. to reject the creator yes. is not a small sin. No, of course not. And it's ir irrational, it's illogical, it goes against the nature of a human being. It, it's, it's wrong in every way. Yeah. And videos like the clip we just saw, you know, aren't doing much in refuting that claim anyway. But it's just important to put that out there so, mm. you know, the brothers and sisters can see the level these atheists are stooping to, if you like, you know, to try refuting Islam. Now, let's briefly touch upon... What is the atheist position? Okay, so they're making these videos, but what does their worldview dictate? What does it mean to be an atheist? That's an interesting point because they continuously want to attack Islam and they want to say Islam is backward, and Islam is this and Islam is that and they bring up various issues, segregation and all the rest in Islam. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, from an atheistic point of view, mm. morality, right and wrong, is purely subjective. Right. And even... The purpose of life is subjective. There's yeah. no ultimate meaning, no ultimate purpose, no ultimate morality. Right. So it's all meaningless. And you think, if it's meaningless, 
why spend so much of your time trying to refute Islam? So let's just emphasize this point before we finish because I've just got the signal that we've got literally two minutes left now, inshallah. So what you're saying, bro, is that on atheism, there is no purpose to life, yeah. right? So all you are... Ultimate, ultimate you, There's purpose. no ultimate purpose. You can make up purpose, ascribe yeah. purpose to yourself, which is all fictional anyway. But the reality is there's no ultimate purpose and you're all going to end up worms meat. You're an accident, you're here by accident, you have no purpose, right? Yep. This is a sad reality, right? Wouldn't you say? Yep. So just to conclude, inshallah, you see, we've discussed the rationalizer, right? Now, how are the brothers and sisters that are watching this right now, how can those brothers and sisters engage in rebuting these people, refuting, playing, refuting these people, making videos, blogs? What would you suggest? How could they refute someone like the, the rationalizer? Okay, the very first thing is you need to understand his position, where he's actually coming from. And what you need to do is you need to get past the rhetoric. And when you get to the heart of what his contentions are, you can literally break them down. In fact, there's one brother who will also put the link to his video. Sure. He went through all of the rationalizers' videos and just refuted him outright. Sure. But what it would be excellent for brothers and sisters to do is to go through what the brother has done and in terms of his research and then make even more videos and blogs and these things to refute people like him. Sure. Because I want to end on a very important point. Allah says in the Quran, it is he who has sent his messenger mm -hmm. with uh, the religion of truth yes. and guidance so that it may prevail over all religions. So, and atheism is also a religion. So, atheism is also a belief system. And, you know, the rest of the shows that we're going to be going through, we're going to be going through a lot of the contentions that atheists bring up Shana. against Islam. But we want the brothers and sisters watching to actually be proactive yes. and go out there and refute these people online. Inshallah. Bro, Jazakallah khair for your time, bro. May Excellent. Allah bless you. So brothers and sisters, you heard it today, Inshallah. Just want to conclude on saying this thing, and I make this point always. Atheism is an ant in an elephant's disguise, right? This is how I put it, basically. But this is a reality. They have no arguments. They have no rational basis. It's only empty rhetoric and nonsense, as you've seen earlier on in the clips that you've seen. So Jazakallah here for watching, brothers and sisters. Please tune into the next LDM show, inshallah. And we'll see you then, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.